one thing in relation to sprites that can be quite important, especially if you want to create objects in the middle of a game or if you want to make things come out of an object, is the origin point. The origin point is a point in which the object is considered its center. Now see here, it's zero, zero, that's general. You can click on the center button and it'll put the origin point in the middle. See, you can move this around and it will change the coordinates for where the origin is. So you can have the origin at different points. Usually, it's best to have it either at the top left or to have it centered. So let's say I want it centered. And I'll just do that for now. But I will go into explanation as exactly as to how that works. So let's say I create an object and this is the character. And the character has a sprite and the sprite is the face. Yes, the character looks like the face. And I could put in loads of code and stuff, but I'm not doing that now because I'm, I'm just showing. And I go into the room and I put the character there. So there's my character and these are the enemies and I'm going to try and get past the enemies. If, for example, I wanted to refer to the position of the character, it is referred to in relation to the origin. A good example of that would be if I want to use a gun, for example, say if I have an enemy and I've got to make a very, very rough quick sprite here. So let's call this sprite big enemy. Big enemy. And this enemy is huge. So I am going to make it bigger. I'm going to resize the canvas. I'm going to make it 10 times as big either way. Very, very quick drawing here. So here we have the big bad enemy who's really angry and he wants to kill you and he's got a gun and he'll shoot stuff out of his gun. What if we wanted to make it so that... Okay, first of all, create the object. And this is the big bad enemy. The object. Big enemy and his sprite is... The sprite of the big enemy. Yes. And we are going to put him in the room. So, whoa, look. There you are, you are the smiley face, and here is the big bad enemy in the room. What are you going to do? Well, he's got a gun and he's going to shoot at you. So, what you're going to do, um, in terms of coding, is you want to have... Well, first of all, you create an object, which is the bullet. So, let's create the object and call it Big Enemy Bullet. I'm not going to make any of that yet. But you want to create the object, and it'll say... Where do you want to create the object? And if you say, I want to create the object where the object big enemy is, well, it's going to create it where the origin is. So say if the origin is there, and you start doing that, then bullets will start shooting out of this top corner. If you say, if you center it, and it's in the middle, bullets will start shooting out of there. So what you really want is you want bullets to shoot out of the gun. What you can do is, you can take the center and make it the tip of the gun. So now, when you create bullets and say create where big enemy is, it'll create them where the origin point is. Of course, you could actually just put the origin anywhere and then say relative to that point where you want the bullets to come from. So for example, you could put the origin there and then when it says create bullets, you could say, well, I want them relative so many spaces to the left and so many spaces down from the origin. But it's just important to note that the origin point is just the point in which things are measured from. 